。我第一次来中国是一九八二年。啊、uh, ，是因为我父亲和母亲在中国工作，所、so, 以我就随着他们来中国。八二年来的时候，就是来看北京，然后回印度，然后八三年回来，啊、uh, ，在中国上学，在北京上学，到北京语言大学，那那时候叫北京语言学院啊， uh, 在那边读本科，然后本科读完了以后，呃，八七年到北京大学读硕士。然后九零年从北大毕业，去宾夕法尼亚大学读博士。So when I came to Shanghai, I had to decide where to stay,、uh, and usually people would stay where the expats are, and I didn't want to do that. So I live in Pudochi, where there are very few foreigners, and it's,、uh, it's surrounded by Chinese,、uh, and the food places are Chinese rather than Western. So I know if you if you go to、uh, French concession, you'll get more bakeries and things, but the place I live、uh, has a total Chinese environment, which I enjoy. The purpose of the Center for Global Asia was to do research beyond China, right? So Southeast Asia, South Asia, Middle East, and and so forth. So I think that brings、um, this、uh, expertise into China about other countries. Same with our students. I think they should learn more than just China,、uh, because China has been engaged with other Asian countries for a long time,、uh, and in order to understand why China did that, including the present day Belt and Road Initiative, why is it important to understand other countries which are neighbors of China、uh, in Asia or or countries. That have interacted with China within Asia, so that's one of the main purposes to look at China from other Asian countries. So one of the more interesting courses that I teach、uh, at NYU Shanghai is concept of China, which is to look at why China became what China is now, including the name China itself,、uh, where it came from. What I'm working on now are two books. One is on Cheng He. Uh, Cheng He、uh, went around the Indian Ocean in the 15th century, so I'm writing a book about his voyages. He also went to India. The other book is on on、uh, China and Nehru. Nehru was the Indian Prime Minister、uh, from 1947 to 1964.、Uh, he was deeply engaged with China,、uh, but it was also a period when India and China had a war,、uh, and and so it's a very complicated period.、Uh, and the focus on the Indian Prime Minister gives a different perspective. On India-China connections, especially in the contemporary modern period.